Hi, this is Anil from Pristine. In today's session, we'll talk about derivatives. You can expect around 12 questions from this particular topic in CFA level 1 exam. Within this topic, one of the most important part is the options. So from the options, you can expect around 7 to 8 questions. So in today's session, we'll talk about what all parameters affect the option prices. So there are five parameters that affect the option prices. First being the current stock price, which is nothing but the underlying price. The second one being the strike price of the option. The third one being the time remaining for the option to expire, which is called as the time to maturity. The fourth one being the volatility of the underlying in the market and the last being the risk-free rate prevalent in the market. There is one more parameter which is dividends that don't directly affect the option prices but they do affect the stock prices which in turn affect the option prices. So I have clubbed the dividends as well. So before we actually start, what is the relationship of these five parameters with the options? Let us revisit what a call and put option is. So if you remember, the payoff for the call option is like this. And the intrinsic value of the call option is given by max of s minus x comma zero. So this particular payoff will consist of intrinsic value and the time value. So the formula for the intrinsic value is given here. That is dependent on the strike price and the current stock price. So if you see this formula, as the stock price increases or as the underlying price increases, the value of the call option will increase. So if this stock price increases the value of the call option will increase so same holds true for american call as well now if you see the payoff for a put option we can conclude that as the stock price increases or as the underlying price decreases the value of the put will increase so intrinsic value for the put would be max of x minus s comma zero so if the stock price increases which is after the negative sign the value of the put will decrease so there is a negative relationship so as the stock price increases the value of the put will decrease and the same holds true for american put now, if you have understood this part, it's very easy to understand the relationship of the strike price because it's exactly the reverse. Now, if you see the intrinsic value formula, as S is increasing, the value of call is increasing. Now, if X is increasing, which is after this negative sign, the value of the call should decrease. So, as the strike price increases value of the call will decrease same holds true for american call and exactly the opposite is for the put so a positive relationship so as the stock price increases the value of call will increase and as the stock price decreases the value of the call price will also decrease and the opposite is for the put option now let's leave this time to expiry for a moment and move on to the volatility part now if you again see this payoff we can see that the bottom of both these graphs are capped so if the stock price goes beyond this it does not change the value of the option much right so but on the other hand if the stock price goes in this this direction the value of 
the call option also increases proportionally. So now if the volatility in the market increases, so what happens to the value of the call and put option? So if the volatility increases, the chances of stock going up beyond this particular point increases and similarly the chances of stock going down also increases but important thing to note here is that if the stock price is increasing the value of this is all the value of the call option is also increasing but if the stock price is decreasing the value of the call option is not decreasing but it remains the constant right it remains constant now on an average if you see you can visualize that the expected value will start increasing in both the cases right so if the volatility is increasing the expected value of the option will increase which means that the call option will also increase and the put option will also increase so this is one parameter that affects both the call and put in a similar fashion so that's why it is important now let us see what is the effect of risk-free rate in the market to see this effect let's go to the put call parity so if you remember the put call parity is the value of the call option plus the present value of the strike price and this complete thing is equal to the value of the put option and the value of the stock minus the present value of the dividends. Now this is important to note here why I have written this PV that is the present value of the dividends. Now, If you see you are at this point option you bought this option at t equal to 0 now you are at t equal to t and the maturity is t equal to capital T and the dividends are being paid here now if you are looking at the value of the call option at this point similarly the value of put option at this point you will write ct and pt so if the dividends are being paid at this point you should consider all these dividends at this point so that is why I, I will say that the present value of the dividends had this these dividends being paid at this point I would have directly written as dividends so whenever you see in any book that the put call parity is written as s minus d so this d is not the actual d but the present value of the dividends all right so let's see what's the relationship of the risk free rate with the call option and the put option now this is a equality right so whenever we are seeing a relationship between r and a call option or a put option we will keep everything else as constant now if i have to see the relationship between r and c i will assume that this right hand side is a constant now if i increase this r if i increase this r since r is coming in the denominator this complete part will decrease so if this part will decrease the value of call has to increase for this equality to hold true right so once again I'm repeating this when we increase the risk free rate this term this particular term will decrease if this part is decreasing the value of the call option has to increase for the equality to hold true so with r increasing the value of the call option will also increase now similarly if i have to see the relationship between the risk free rate and the put option we can see that whenever we increase the r this part will decrease if this part is decreasing the p has to decrease as well so when r is increasing p is decreasing so it is a negative relationship right
so it is very easy to derive from the put call parity that what is the effect of risk free rate so you will learn in cfa level 2 curriculum that the that this relationship is very very small relationship the degree of this relationship is very small now let's move to the dividend part we know that whenever dividends are being paid the stock prices fall so if the stock prices are falling with the increase in the dividends and the stock price is falling means the call option will fall right so this is one way of explaining this the other way is directly this put call parity so if the dividends is increasing the value of the call is decreasing because this dividend is coming with a negative sign so if this dividend is increasing this right hand side will decrease which means the call has to decrease similarly if the dividend is increasing the put option has to increase for this equality to hold true so there is a positive relationship in the dividends and the put option now the last part which is remaining is the time to expiry intuitively if we see that if we have more time for the option to expire the value of the option should increase which is perfectly fine but there is an exception in a european call and european put options and the exception is uh, let me take an example here so suppose i have two options one is having a maturity of one year the other is having a maturity of six months and after seven months dividend is being paid right at this point the dividend is being paid now this option the first one first one is having a higher time to maturity so intuitively we can say that this is having more option more time for the option to expire so th the value for this option should increase which is fine but in this special case when the dividend is being paid after six months it can be a case that the value of this particular option is more than the, this particular option because in european call and put option you cannot exercise your option in between so if at this point you had the option to expire your option your you could have got a higher value because whenever dividends are being paid the call option prices will fall so after this point the call option prices are going to fall but you don't have the option to exercise so the value of this particular call option may be lower than this particular call option so that is the exception here so so that is why we can say that for european call and put option we cannot say anything but for american call and american put option our intuition is right so this is positive relationship but in for the time to expiry we cannot say so normally it will increase but there are few exceptions so that's why we say that doesn't hold all the time so if you have understood this part let's move on to the questions now now let's read this question it says if the volatility of the underlying asset decreases then so it's saying that sigma is increasing so whenever sigma is increasing the value of the call option put option increases both right so remember this was an exception here right volatility example is an exception so let's see the first option it says value of put option will increase no 
so this is wrong here because if the volatility is decreasing this has to decrease as well right so a is wrong value of the put option is will decrease but the value of the call option will increase no this doesn't hold true so let's go to the third option it says value of both the put and call option will decrease which is a correct statement so remember this as an exception because this sigma is the only parameter that affects all the option prices in a similar manner right so let's go to the second question now which says which of the following feature increase the value of the call option so call option is max of s minus x comma zero right so it says high interest rate so let us see how to analyze this so i'm writing the put call parity here equal to p plus s minus present value of d so if the risk free rate increases this complete thing will decrease which will increase the value of call option so the first one is the right option let's see the second one highly variable stock price which means high well volatility of the stock or the underlying so we have already seen that as sigma increases the value of call option and value of put option both increases so c is the answer for this right so this was about different parameters that affect the option prices i hope you have understood this if you have any questions regarding this particular topic you can write an email to me at you can write an email to me at anel at ene dot com so thanks for listening see you in the next class